survivalist with survivalist.com. Okay, you guys, um, cordage is huge, and I think it's one of the biggest things that people overlook. I mean, your parachute cord is awesome, but you know what? You're going to bust through that 100 feet that I, you should have in your bag really, really quickly, especially when shelter building, making tools. You need to know how to make cordage. Now, there's a lot of things you can make in the wild, but if you can't make them with synthetic things like... Grocery sacks is a great way for beginners to become very proficient at fiber twisting. So that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, so when you start out, just take your grocery sack like this. Okay, start up here, up at the top. You want to break just those handles. And there's a little seam. You just uh, go all the way to the bottom, but don't break through. Do the same on the other side. So all of a sudden, is that one long length, okay? I okay. like that. You always, always stagger whatever fibers, even if you have just a handful of century plants or in this case, plastics, you want to be able to stagger it so you're never adding in new rope at the same interval. Now, for uh, those of you who are normal, right-handed, sorry, left-handed, um, you guys are gonna grab it with your left hand, okay? These three fingers right here, those are your holding fingers, it's gonna be a static hold. These ones are gonna pinch, and your right hand, if you're normal, just kidding. Just going to do the twisting. So we're going to just start and twist tightly a coil about this long. So twist and pinch away from your body, rotating away. Twist and pinch, twist and pinch until you get this. Okay, once you get to this point, I want you to kind of push it together and all of a sudden something forms. It's called the eye hole. Okay? Pinch it with your left hand, your less dominant hand, so if left-handers, it's just the opposite. Now, you're always working with the top arm. So what we're gonna do is it's basically three twists away from the body, so a twist and pinch. Make sure you pinch what you've coiled, otherwise it will come undone. Then once it's tight, you make one rotation towards your body. Now the top became the bottom, and the bottom became the top. Let's do it again, one, two, Three, rotate towards your body. One, two, three, rotate towards your body. Three, twist away. One rotation towards. Three, twist away. One rotation towards. Three, twist away. One rotation towards. What does this look, guys? This is rope. Very, very strong rope. And you know what? This is how fiber twisting is done, no matter what material you use. Okay, you guys, mm -hmm. we are, so I twisted it all the way down. This has a tensile strength of about 200 pounds. Now, the time old question, crap, what do I do when I run out of material? Okay, this is the primal, primary reason that I stagger them. You never want to have a weak point. So, got a new bag, put them together, just like this. Pinch it, start twisting it. You want, and then just keep, Twisting it as if you uh, just continued, and those two fibers of the bag will just start integrating. And honestly, I can make a thousand foot rope this way. Um, it is so simple. Um, this is the one time I'm going to encourage you to sit and actually watch Netflix, something I do while well braiding, uh, you know, bags into cordage because I'm weird. Anyways. Um, because I want you to be able to do this without thinking about it. In survival, um, I want you to keep your mind occupied. I want you to keep your, your, your hands occupied. I want you to be so busy you don't have time to despair. And you know what? You're going to be able to make, you know, if, once you are able to do fire from sticks, check out my bow drilling video, be able to make your own rope. I mean, what are you not going to be able to do? Because what happens is when people don't know things, that's when despair sets in. But freak, you can make a grocery bag that'll hold up your next door neighbor. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So we're just gonna keep going. When you run out on the other one, just get a new bag. Now, I'll be uh, uploading a really cool video on uh, how to make fishing line out of a plastic bag. There's a lot of use, and you'll notice that synthetic materials are found all over. It's kind of sad, because we see there's trash out there now in a survival situation. Trash can actually be really, really useful. 
But again, once you're done with it, let's clean it up, get everything nice and clean and keep our uh, wild. So you guys can actually see, I, I used two different colors of bags on purpose so you can see that uh, how it's just integrated. Um, we're gonna give it the ultimate test. Me, we're gonna go Hulk on it. Okay, obviously that's not gonna go anywhere. Um, I have tested these out. They can take about 200 pounds of uh, working load. It kind of depends on the bag types of bags that you're using, but your average Walmart grocery bag, and uh, I, I threw that in for free Walmart, you're welcome. Um, anyways, it's gonna be able to hold quite a bit. Um, make sure if you're actually out roving, you're lucky enough to find any containers, bottles, um, you know, those things when you don't have a lot, they can really do a lot. So make sure you grab them, and if not, clean them up and throw them away. But you guys, once you master, this, making tight coils, making quality rope like this, but then I can teach you how to do it of tulips, century plant, anything outside. Check out my book. I give you over a hundred things to uh, use in there. It's amazing, but I, this is your homework. This is step one, and I'll show you step 100 after that. Okay, thank you very much. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, and I'll keep bothering you with grocery bag braiding and all sorts of crap. Okay, Eric, that's your survivalist app. Okay, guys, catch you next time. Please be sure to like my video and subscribe, and that way I can always keep you up to date on what I'm doing, and we'll see you next time on the mountainside.